Hello everyone, today's video, let's talk about informal logic in mathematics, specifically in geometry. Before anything else, let's define first what this logic means. First definition of logic, it is the science that evaluates arguments. A science that studies the principles of correct reasoning, a statement of an argument. Constructing our own logic will help us to develop in our vocabulary and in our skills in reasoning. And it mentioned the word argument. It is uh, the problem that we are trying to prove in, an, in, an, in a logic. <clears throat> what does an argument mean? It is a group of statements including one or more premises and one and only one conclusion. In one, an ar in one argument or in a one problem, we can have many reasons to support or prove and to come up with one and only one conclusion. And take note that in a one argument, we can only have one conclusion. Okay, let's, uh, uh, let's uh, know what does these premises and conclusion are in an argument. These two words, premises and conclusion, are the two nature of an argument. Premises Premises is a statement in an argument that provides reason or support for the conclusion. There can be one or many premises in a single argument like what I mentioned a while ago that in an argument we can have many reasons to support our conclusion. This will serve as our, an evidence to, to come up with one conclusion. <clears throat> and these are the typical premises indicators used. First is since, in that, seeing that, and others. Next, what does conclusion in an argument mean? It is a statement in an argument that indicates of what the arguer is trying to convince the reader or listener. What is the argument trying to prove? There can be one and only conclusion in a single argument. <clears throat> this conclusion is the, what the author trying to deliver to the re reader or listener. This, uh, this serves as to um, persuade the readers or um, listener <clears throat> and like what I've said uh, from the first from the beginning we can only have one conclusion in one argument and next these are the typical conclusion indicators uh, first therefore accordingly entails that and etc from the mentioned uh, indicators of premises and conclusion there are many indicators that we can use in constructing our own logic or in our in constructing our own argument and as a conclusion for today's lesson or um, topic your common sense will be of great help with this lesson use your common sense and be wise Thank you for listening and keep safe.